This is a Cristiano Ronaldo autographed football. And I'm gonna turn this ball into a pair of shoes. I'm not only turning this ball into a pair of shoes, but also this autographed Mike Tyson boxing glove and this Michael Jordan autographed basketball. Look at Michael Jordan's signature right there. I'm gonna start by just cutting apart the ball and trying to get as much material from it as possible. I started with the half of the ball that didn't have the signature on it just so I could learn and in case I messed up I wouldn't be ruining the signature. Also, I'm giving away all three of these pair of shoes that I make today on whatnot Which is a sponsor of this video. Thank you guys September 21st I'm gonna be live streaming on the whatnot app and choosing three people watching to win these three pair of shoes the basketball material is way too thick to actually use on the shoe, so I somehow had to take that outer leather off of the inside rubber. I clamped the rubber onto the table and then slowly started peeling out the leather on top while heat gunning it just so the glue was kind of softer. Oh my gosh. Two pieces I got done. That literally took probably like an hour and a half. It's actually good quality. I thought it would be like rubber, but it's actually kind of nice. It's like super strong. It doesn't stretch at all. Let's take apart the shoe. The leather wasn't actually big enough to cover the entire piece with one strip, but I positioned the basketball so I wasn't wasting any material. I cut off all the basketball hanging off and then used that to fill up the rest of the shoe. Once I had all the leather down, I used one of the Nike logos that I already cut off the shoe and I kind of glued it on top of the basketball material. I also used it to cover up this little gap where the two pieces of leather meet. So it made the whole thing look like one solid piece and I feel like it kind of looks cool on the shoe. I'm gonna use this piece right here with the words on it. I feel like it'll look cool in the background. I'm also gonna fold down this lip right here so you only only are gonna see that edge. I'm gonna leave a little bit of a white border on top of this piece, just so it kind of separates all the pieces. I feel like this looks good with like the white border. I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually excited for this live stream. I wanna see as many of you there as possible. I figured Whatnot was the best spot to do this because you can buy and sell things on there and you can go live while doing it. So click the link in my description, download Whatnot, and I will see you on the 21st. This is the back so far. If you're wondering how I still have Nike logos because I already used the other one, I just found some extra ones laying around the warehouse from other shoes that I've done in the past. This thing is gorgeous so far. This is actually beautiful. Also, when I put it back on the shoe, it's gonna look so good. On the toe of the shoe, which is like the main panel, I want to have half the signature there and then half the signature on the other shoe. This is all the value right here. Okay, so I'm pulling this off and look what I just noticed. I don't know if you can see that, but the, there's a little silver on my knuckle. That's from the signature. You can kind of see what I was talking about right there. You see that smearing? Oh man, it's really on there. It's still fine, but it's a good thing I noticed it. Just wanted to. Just wanna let you know about my struggles. Now I can put this part on the front of the shoe. Since the signature was somehow coming off my finger a little bit, I sprayed it over with a clear coat just so it wouldn't smear anymore and it'd stay perfect. Then I glued that to the toe box. And when I had the little gap from these two pieces this time, instead of using another Nike logo to cover the gap, I got this super thin piece of black fabric, which I'm gonna cut out a super small strip of and then glue that right in between those two pieces. Kinda to look like this part of the ball where the ball is like has the black lines on it. I used the inside softer part of the leather. Even though the outside looks more like the original basketball, I feel like it just looked way cooler if it's like soft suede. Before I put it on the sewing machine, I used this little stitching punch to make sure all my stitches were perfectly even. It's usually fine without it, but I feel like I noticed when I have the holes perfectly lined up, it always just looks a little better. I punched all the holes in the toe box and then I kind of noticed that you could see through the little holes. So I used the bag that the basketball came in and I cut out a small piece of that to glue under the basketball material. So when I put it on the shoe, all the holes were black and you couldn't see through them. After I sewed that piece, it was time to do the tongue. I cut the stitchings on top of the tongue so I could fold it back and put a little piece of basketball under that. And then I sewed that back together, glued the tongue onto the piece I just sewed. All right guys, I'm done with the shoe. Let me know what you think. I'm kind of going for that different vibe with these. If you guys win these, are you gonna wear them? I'm actually curious. Obviously the shoes are made to wear, it's like a shoe. But I feel like I'd rather see them in one of your like rooms, like on the wall, I don't even know. This piece is like the Jordan logo from the original shoe. Now they're gonna collab. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. What do you think so far? I love it. I like it better than your other basketball shoe, that's for sure. Oh yeah. That's actually true. That one was a little clown shaped, but it was cool still. The basketball shoes are 100% done and they're beautiful. Check them out. First pair of shoes done, basketball shoes all done. Michael Jordan signature right there still looks 
perfect. It's a very wearable shoe. It's simple, and I also didn't even do any painting, which was kind of fun. Now that these are done, we can start the Mike Tyson glove shoes. I'm gonna cut it up. How is there that much in there? I don't know how this all fit in there, but this is all inside the glove. When I was taking apart this glove, I actually realized there was a lot of cool stuff I could use on the shoe. Not only the outside red leather, but there was like labels and tags, and even the black liner going around the glove. And there was laces on the glove. This is the signature. This I need to save. I obviously took apart the whole shoe first and started out with the smallest piece on the entire shoe. I'm just gonna take a small piece of this. I'm not gonna cut up the signature yet. I'm gonna start with this little piece here. I'm using a small piece of the glove to cover up that end, but it has like kind of a puffy texture to it. So I tried putting glue all around the puffy end just on the flat part. So when I glued it down, you'd still be able to see the texture. <gasps> that worked so good. You can still see the end perfectly. Okay, now for the next piece. The piece that goes on top of the end, I just left the original material. But then for the piece that goes on top of that, for this piece, I'm gonna use the inside of the glove. It's like a canvasy white material. It's kind of nice. I already know what you're thinking. That's gonna be such a waste of the outside good part. So, instead, I actually went online and ordered the same brand glove. Even though the outside colors don't match, the inside material is exactly the same. This one doesn't hurt to cut up as much as the other one. Oh, what's inside this one? Look at this, the foam pit. I glued it down on top of this piece and then I cut it out, but I left a little border around the whole thing. So I could fold it over and glue it down so you would only see the edges of the canvas. I also kind of roughed up the canvas a little bit. I wanted this piece to look super beat up and then all the other pieces to look brand new, especially if I cut some holes in this piece and then the red was poking through. After I sewed it with perfectly clean white thread, I feel like it would look really cool together. Also, by the way, the reason I chose New Balance for this one, because it's actually Mike Tyson's favorite shoe. I'm gonna split this up on the front of the shoes, half of it on this shoe, and then when the other shoes here, it'll be the other half on that shoe. Also, I'm gonna be FaceTiming Mike Tyson later and showing him the shoes. Just kidding, that's not happening at all. But that would be cool. I'm gonna be extra careful with this part. I'm just gonna line up this piece on the back here and then trace it out with a pen before I even cut it. I carefully cut that piece out of the glove and then I used some glue to stick it to the original piece of the shoe. Also, while that was sitting and drying, I mixed up a little light pink paint just to paint some of these panels that were already white. On the side of the shoe, there was also like a little layer behind that main side panel, which is kind of like the liner. So I peeled that off and used the liner from the glove to wrap around that piece. And then I put that back on the shoe and it was kind of like a little black border poking out behind the white piece. Then I put the side piece back on and the front toe box back on. So far, the shoe's looking so good. Now I'm gonna do the tongue of the shoe I noticed something awesome. Look at this. This piece of the tongue is the same size as this. Literally the exact same size. Look at that. Also, we all know Mike Tyson has that weird face tap right here. I'm gonna do a design just like that on the back of the shoe later. I feel like it'll look cool, but real quick, let's make the tongue. I cut off the label of the tongue and painted it with the same pink I already used. And then I cut the tag in half and I used double-sided tape and then sewed that back on the tongue. Then I taped off this entire back piece of the shoe. I took out all the stitchings on this piece earlier so I could tuck the tape all the way under it. I printed a stencil of Mike Tyson's face tattoo and I kind of lined that up on the back as best as it would fit on the piece. It wasn't lined up exactly like the way it is on his face, but I feel like you can still tell what it is. That turned out awesome. I need to touch it up, obviously, but that looks so good. Even though I didn't add any material to that piece, I re-sewed it on, and it actually ended up looking so good because all the threads were white, and then the background of it was like black and white, which I didn't even mean to do, but it actually looks really cool. I thought the last ones were perfect, but I think I like these better. Take a look. These are pretty cool. Now for the big one. This is the last one, Ronaldo soccer ball. I'm just gonna start by cutting this apart and then we'll make shoes out of it. Oh my God, that smells like Ronaldo. This is nice, it's like a leather soccer ball. It's kind of lit. This is the inside of the ball. It looks like one of those swim caps. This is the material of the ball. Look at it, it's like really thick. For this pair of shoes, I chose to do some Air Max ones. First thing we gotta do is take apart the shoe. 
I'm gonna remake all these pieces out of my football soccer ball. I'm gonna start with this inside piece of the ball, the super thin rubber. After I cut the rubber, I noticed that the leather from the ball wasn't really flat. I tried my best to use like a little iron press and flatten it out as much as possible so I could cut the pieces I needed for the shoe. I'm also not only using the outside maroon for the shoe, but also the inside canvas material. I feel like it actually looks good together. I just bought this fabric. Look at this. I was gonna use this fabric to replace all the white mesh that was already on the shoe. The texture of this material is like a little bit different, more like a woven pattern, kind of similar to the canvas from the ball. Also, this is obviously a Cristiano Ronaldo ball. So I printed some stencils that said CR7 and I sprayed those on that back piece of fabric with like a light fade of black. Now I can use this rubber, this piece I've been, I've been excited to use it. I'm gonna wrap it around kind of like what I did on the Mike Tyson shoes. I'm gonna wrap this around this scrap piece of leather so just the edge is showing. And it's gonna poke out behind the edge of this. At this point, the shoe was honestly looking so good. This was definitely the hardest material to work with but I think the colors looked the best. I took the whole body of the shoe and stitched it all together before I attached it back to the sole. Look at how this place looks now, by the way. It's just such a mess. There's so much stuff on the floor. When I started stitching the body back onto the sole, it didn't work out exactly how I thought. Okay, something is wrong. Something about this part looks weird. I don't know. I think I'm gonna have to redo it. It sucks because I probably have to take apart this whole back part, but I feel like everything else looks so good. Damn. I did decide to rip off the entire sock liner. Even though I love the stencils I did, I knew it could look a little better. I also started on the second shoe. Instead of taking the whole first shoe apart, I just started on the second one with the new plan. And on this one, I also used the actual Ronaldo signature because I didn't put any of that on the first shoe. So I just used the whole signature on that main side piece so I didn't cut it up at all. Right there on the side. This is definitely the hardest one. I spent the last four days just trying to figure out how to use this stuff. And this is all I have left too. Also, my new plan was pretty much just put the original sock liner back on the shoe. So would obviously just have the exact same shape as the original shoe. Also, don't forget, September 21st, I'm gonna be live streaming in the area, walking around with all three pair of shoes and just choosing someone in the live stream watching to win the shoes. If you like any of the shoes you see and you wanna win them, just join the live stream. Download Whatnot, first link in description. Be ready for the stream. Hopefully I see you guys. September 21st. Here's the thing about these shoes though, okay? They're different. This one has the Nike logo on it, but I don't know which one I like better. It looks clean. I like the white stitches on the black part. Three pair of shoes, 13 days. And these took the longest by far. I think these look awesome. I like this one more. I don't know which one's my favorite, but all three are done. Hopefully I see you guys September 21st on the live stream. So download whatnot and be ready for the 21st. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Let me know which pair is your favorite.